exactly. And of course, our hearts are still with Canopy as yes. well because they couldn't play uh, their game in the Wiri simply because of what happened, you know, yeah. on Friday and all that. That's the result you have in your screen there because of what happened in the Wiri and all that. So hopefully next weekend you get to see Canopy uh, Another news is that, uh, not a good one, Gabo Mohammed will be out for close to 10. Yeah. How many weeks? It's wow, a shame. It's, 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 a shame. it's really not a good one, you know. After that, and hopefully, maybe away teams when they are traveling to, across the states and all that, they can have police escorts or something just to protect them. Because I feel these are players. I mean, players that football is something we all enjoy. So we just. This is something really, really cool. That's the result you have on your screen. Of yeah. course, Tyler read it out earlier. Yeah. Dolphins and Para United goalless, Sharks and Sunshine Stars goalless. Those are the games on Saturday. Then on Sunday, Giwa, uh, on Sunday you have Giwa FC and Abia Warriors still goalless. Aimba, Aqua United goalless. But from there, you have goals coming in Wicked Tourist and 3 FC 2 nearly in favor of Wicked Tourist. Taraba FC and Enugu Rangers. Enugu Rangers were losing their opening game. Well, away from home. 3 to Bayesa United and Lobby Stars won all. In fine, you of course, from Gabros 2 0 against Worry Wolves, well, Economy Warriors and Nassau United 1 0. Uh, you were thinking Ufam would have, could have scored for him, right? <laughs> yeah. because he's the only one. I mean, of all yeah. the strikers that performed so well last season, yes. he's the only one left us home. Yes. And we thought, okay, 23 goals last season, you can yes. start it off. Yeah, but you, 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 you have to. It was give, you have to give credit. No, it wasn't really absent. You have to give credit to the Aqua United defense line. They did a good job on him. They stayed very tight to him. They really didn't have a sniff of goal. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to take the credit away uh, from Aqua United and defenders. They did a great job on Formudo. Formudo, great striker. It's good to see him still on the uh, on the scene, and he hasn't gone to. Um, uh, Malta or a any other obscure uh, leagues just out there. Just come when the right league comes for you, just like what Aziza Oshola did. Remember, <laughs> she was so fantastic at the Africa, uh, World, uh, uh, FIFA Under-20 you know, Championship in Canada. And of course, she went to Namibia, of course, not just second highest goal scorer, also MVP, just like the MVP she won in Canada, you know, also highest goal scorer. And right now, she became the first African to actually play in the English Super League. Well, we did one interview with her, you know, it's part of celebration of women today. She's just one woman we just really want to celebrate on the show today. Let's get to see this interview. It's true hard work and not giving up spirit in me and also the spirit of doing more and not relying on what I've done in the past. The, the fact that I want to do more, not what I've done in the past. Past glory has gone. You have to make new records to make a new person. Well, actually, I, I, I would have actually been a lawyer. That's, that's my course right from time. That's my ambition. That's what I would love to do right from time. Even my parents, they weren't that happy with me playing football, but at a point, I just told them, they shouldn't worry, I know what I'm doing. This is what I actually want for now, just for the passion I got for the game. So I decided to go into football. Well, actually, I have two players that I always look up to, and that's Francisca Odega and Perpetua Uncocha. Those are the two players I really love. When I watched them, like in 2010, I went to camp with, uh, I was in camp with Francisca Odega. I saw the way she played and I saw the determination in uh, the zeal and everything. That was what even prompted me to say, oh man, I, have to, I can do better than she's doing. And I think today they really upped my game, really upped me psychologically and everything. Because at times I just think I'll be like, football, I'm tired of playing football. They'll be like, no, you can, you're a good player, just keep working and you can be better. Uh, going to Canada was a good outing for me, and second on the 20 World Cup, and um, coming to the senior level, it was my second AWC though, but my playing time and everything, it was my first time, so I'll say it was my first full AWC outing, and it was a good one for me. I, I didn't, the senior ones around me, they made me feel at home, they feel like the junior ones, they don't like they don't even tell us we are junior players we should go away from them they interact with us very they love and everything the interaction in the camp is very good so it really helped me and made me have a good out in Namibia we're well, looking forward to what she'll do in Canada or later this year okay now looking at the papers or oh, before that we talk about the China's National Kids Cup of course we talked about preliminary stages it's going to start very soon on the 13th 17th of this month, and of course, Lagos states only. And another, okay, that's the information you have on your screen uh, calling for applications. Of course, we know it's going to end today, is the deadline, and all that. So, teams have not submitted, you can submit to the Lagos only, of course, screening 
of entries will be done tomorrow, 10th of March, and the draw for the preliminary stage will take place on Thursday here at Channels, Nash, at Channels TV Complex. And after that, you have the Lagos preliminaries that will be played from March 17th to 20th. And for well, the draws that will be done, some kids will be invited. And of course, representative of each schools will also be invited. So it's just only the successful uh, schools that will definitely participate in the draws. Briefly looking at the papers, starting from a uh, complete sport, we have a, okay, Flying Eagles, of course, one over Senegal. And the other one, you have a Ujahit goal number nine there. That's the one I'm interested in. And my United to sell Angel de Maria, okay? Let's see, Angela Mobi is an MLS move. And soccer star, you have a my United and Arsenal Light of Theatre of Dreams tonight in the FA Cup quarterfinal clash. And uh, Sporting Life has a different headline, and which is really big. NFF on um, Super Eagles job. NFF, Kershaw lawyers meet on Wednesday. INC leads will be followed in three man body and big boss beat Friday deadline with letter of intent. So it simply means Kershaw will definitely sign his contract and maybe remains Super Eagles coach and Senate rejects Kershaw. Details of that is on page 8 of Sporting Life. Okay, we'll go, just go for a short break now. We'll come back. We'll be talking about the FA Cup, of course, what happened on the weekend, most of the games, replay, and all that. Key game for tonight at Theatre of Dreams, Manchester United and Arsenal. No, these t two teams, you know, yeah. my United, the fear factor is definitely gone. But Arsenal are yet to beat them. Yeah, That's why the father, Alex Ferguson, is gone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you, can say, you can say that again. Um, um, in the last um, six games that Arsenal have played against um, Manchester United at Old Trafford, they've not won anyone. They've actually lost all six, the last six games. So expect Man United right now. Actually, this, the FA Cup now is the realistic um, trophy that these two sides can win yes. in, in 2015. So I expect a very competitive game um, between these two sides. Not like what we saw yesterday, Liverpool and Blackburn. Okay? Yeah. Replay definitely for, <laughs> for them. Yeah, yeah but then you have to give Blackburn credit. They went over the game plan to get a replay and that's what it got. So, uh, congratulations to them. Let's see if they can complete the job when they go to Ewood Park. Okay, that's what we'll be looking forward to. Uh, quickly, if you want to just run through some of the selected results, what happened at the weekend. Real Madrid, of course, losing and well, Barcelona had to capitalize on that right now, topping yes. the league table. Okay, finally, Freddie Roach, of course, he believes that <laughs> will can would that happen? Yeah, well, come what on. Do what, what do you expect from Freddie Roach? He trains Manny Pacquiao, so for, for obvious reasons, he's going to go for his man. We'll find out on May the 2nd. You, what do you I, think? I, I know what I'm, I, yeah, I, I'm going for Pacquiao as well, too. Okay. I'm not the only one. Miguel Cotto <laughs> is going for Pacquiao. Oscar De La Hoya is going for Pacquiao. So everyone so, is going for yeah, him. So, so it good. seems, finally... <laughs> The money man will get to lose yeah, but, his ambition that's, on Actually, you know what the problem is? That's what a lot of people are hoping for. They oh. want to see a loss, you know, on oh. this guy's record. Okay, let's see how it goes. Thank you so much for being part of the program because business money is up next. We'll leave you with pictures coming from the Visco. Well, well, Andy Murray has been joining now. For them, they're through to the quarterfinals of the Visco and they will be facing France. I hope.